Around Town is brought to you by Eastern North Carolina Medical Group. Good health is music to our ears. With office locations at 1041 Noel Lane, Suite 105 in Rocky Mount, 10589 East NC Highway 97 in Joiner's Crossing Shopping Center in Rocky Mount, 155 Nashville Commons Drive in the Food Line Shopping Center Plaza in Nashville, North Carolina, 1812 Glendale Avenue, Suite B in Wilson, North Carolina, 903 North Arundel Drive in Zebulon, North Carolina, as well as the ENCMG Lewisburg Oncology Clinic at 216 North Beckett Boulevard, Suite 5 in Lewisburg, North Carolina. Log on to ENCMG.com today to locate the office nearest you. Welcome to Around Town, and one of the most fun things that we do is to celebrate our local small businesses and Miller Orthodontics and Dr. Ken Miller, senior Dr. Ken Miller, yeah. <laughs> is here. Taylor Barker, of course, who's the, the chairman of the Small Business Committee. But Ken, we're going to reminisce a little bit, and a little, we're going to introduce all your employees. We're going to have a banner presentation, but you are now often treating the third generation of families. And I have to tell you, when Jack Chesson was here, Dr. Chesson, and then y'all were together and whatnot, it's just fantastic for our community that now your son is here, so we know you're going to just keep on keeping on. Well, we hope so. And uh, <laughs> you brought up Jack, and uh, you know, Jack is the reason I came to Rocky Mount. Um, I'm sure not many people know, but Jack is from my hometown, which is in Guilford County, a little town called Jamestown. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, my mother taught Jack in high school. And I used to watch Jack play basketball when I was running around the gym as a little fella. And it, I didn't know Jack was an orthodontist. And I went, while I was in residency, I went to an orthodontic meeting. And I saw this fella and I said, I, I, I know him from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Of course, and it was Jack Chesson and we got to talking. I introduced myself and he said, well, where are you going to practice? And I said, well, I don't know. I'd like to go closer to the water. And he said, well, come to Rocky Mount. So long story short, we, I came to Rocky Mount and Jack and I practiced in this same building um, together for 15 years before he moved to Bath. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was by myself, practiced for 20 some years. And then very fortunate mm -hmm. that my son uh, got into orthodontics and wanted to come back to Rocky Mount, so that's kind of how it happened. Well, brag on him a little bit. It's not easy to be an orthodontist. I mean, er dentistry is hard enough, but to get into orthodontics training is really, really just the top, what, 1% or less? Yeah, it's very difficult, especially at uh, UNC orthodontic department is, is one of the top two or three in the country, and it's very difficult to get in. Um, and he tells me now that he had his sight set on that the whole time, but I, at the time, I didn't know that. And um, after he finished undergraduate school, I said, well, he'll find something to do. <laughs> my wanting him to be an orthodontist didn't seem to be cutting it. And then after a few months, he came, he said, you know what, I think I'm gonna go to dental school. And I was taken aback and he did. And he uh, made it. He was number one in his class in wow. dental school and uh, was accepted into uh, Chapel Hill for orthodontic training. So here we are. Yeah. Great. And uh, I couldn't be more proud. Absolutely. 43 years. You've been in business 43 years. 43 years. That's awesome. Uh huh. So, do, are are you semi-retired, retired? Or? No, I'm still here. Okay. Um, <laughs> Enough business for both of you. Yeah. 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 He, he he hadn't run me off yet, yeah. so, and I'll still enjoy it. Well, that's good. And um, uh, as you meet the staff, you'll see they they make it easy. Yeah. And we, it is something that I have enjoyed doing. I can honestly say, and I, I don't wake up and say, "Oh darn, I got to go to work today." Mm -hmm. It's it's. Yeah, it's a labor of love, really. Yeah. And you go to Roanoke Rapids, you opened an office there about, what, 35, 36 years ago? Well, actually, uh, longer than that. We've been going to Roanoke Rapids the whole time I've been here, Gene. Hmm. 
So uh, what, one or two days a week? Uh, one to one to two, depending mm -hmm. on the time of the year. And uh, uh, it's Roanoke Rapids has uh, been a very substantial part of our practice, and still is. Um, we we practiced in a very small. Uh, office space up there for a while and then we ended up building a, a building that we've been in for 20 some years or so and remodeled that as well Re as completely remodeled, remodeled that too. this too it's and, beautiful uh, yeah. yeah so what geographic area do you basically serve well from here to up to Ronald Rapids in the east you know is Tarboro, up, up into Halifax County, northeastern Halifax County, and out into Northampton County, really. And then back in western Nashville County. Uh, basically from all around us, you know. It, 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 it's been a good area. Mm -hmm. So whoever knocks on the door, whoever calls, you, you'll help oh, them yeah. out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We, uh, uh, we've been very fortunate. This area has been very good and uh, you know, I reckon it took a long time for this to me to consider uh, Guilford County wasn't home, but for sure Rocky Mount's home now. And I don't know what we would do without y'all. I mean, this, it, you know, having straight teeth and a pretty smile and, mm -hmm. and all, and, and we're going to talk later in the show about how generous, in fact, I'm going to talk about it right now. You have, for many, many years, given away a complete dental package as an auction item for charity for one of our local schools. What What's the value of that, do you think, over the many years you've been doing oh, it? Oh, wow. Gene, that'd be hard to say. Uh, actually, we do it for a couple of the schools, and uh, we've done, done it in the past for the that heart ball. Uh, mm -hmm. We donated several treatments over the years to that, but I, I couldn't put a dollar away, but it's been a lot of years. Um, well, it's been a lot, a yeah. very generous yeah. gift, too. I mean, when we were at the Chamber, the Small Business Committee was talking about, you know, you're deserving this, and that was one thing brought up with, with how generous that is to help mm -hmm. that, that you do that. Well, you know, the, <laughs> that's a small payback for how, how well this community has treated us over the years, really. And, and we'll continue with yeah. the, the new generation coming yeah, in, so that's yeah. great. He's, doing a he's about job. to turn 40, isn't he? So he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to start working on one of his kids. He's got to, to see how girls are boys, right? He has two boys and one girl. And he, he of course, he, he'd like for one or both of them or the girl to be in mm -hmm. orthodontic studies. It would be a great thing. And you've got another daughter in town. You got who lives in town? I do. Our oldest daughter, uh, Kate Honey. Uh, she's been in town for ten years, I would guess. She works for Nottingham Company, mm -hmm. and I'll have to give her a little plug. She's the uh, just recently has become the first female president of uh, one of the local country clubs. Wonderful. Great. Wonderful. So you're great. You've got grandchildren nearby, right? Very much so. They're all within 15 minutes or so. Five wow. minutes. You're, you, you're truly blessed. I, I, I am blessed. Well, I'm we're going to go to the banner presentation and then we're going to talk to your, to your son. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kenneth Hunter. I'm a member of the Small Business Committee of the Rocky Mountain Area Chamber of Commerce. And I'm here with our Small Business Committee Chair, Taylor Barker, to reward our March 2017 Small Business of the Month to Miller Orthodontics. And he's here with the owners of Miller Orthodontics. A lot of great things going on with the Chamber, a lot of great events. And also just a reminder to everybody that coming up very soon will be our Small Business of the Year Awards event in June of this coming in June. And we certainly want you all to be a part of it. There's an opportunity here very soon to nominate yourself for many of the different Small Business Awards. Of course, Miller Orthodontic, along with all of our prior Small Business of the Year, Small Business of the Month winners, will have an opportunity to compete for the Small Business of the Year Award, which we'll also be awarding at the banquet in June. So definitely check out RockyMountChamber.org to learn more about these awards opportunities. Now I'll turn it over to Taylor. Thank you, Ken. Uh, just to reiterate a little bit what Ken said, uh, we wanted to present you guys uh, Miller Orthodontics with the Small Business of the Month award winner for March and with that you guys are now in the running for the Small Business of the Year award that will be presented at the banquet uh, out at Rose Hill at the end of June and now I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Ken Miller for a yeah. few words. Well you know on behalf of my dad and my staff you know we just really like to thank the chamber for 
for this incredible honor. Um, we're two lucky guys to be able to come to a job every day that we love and work with a staff as fantastic as ours. And I'd also be remiss to not mention how appreciative we are of our patients. Um, there's some incredible people in the Nash, Edgecombe, Halifax area that we treat, that we spend a lot of time with over two years, and they kind of become part of our family, so we'd like to thank them too. Um, of my staff, I'm kind of one of the newer members. Um, some of them have been around since uh, I could barely walk, so uh, <laughs> I hope that in 30 years, I may be standing here with one of my two sons as well, and, um, and talking about how I had a great 30 years in the business. But again, we're very appreciative. Thank you for this honor. And uh, we'll be around for many years to come, we hope. Ken, we're so happy to have you here. Dr. Thank Ken. You. Thank right? you. Dr. Dr. Ken. Ken. Yeah, Dr. Ken. Except but, Dr. Miller, we both like, what? <laughs> so I'm Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken. And how long have you been here? I, since 2010, so almost seven years. In June will be seven years. Oh, oh my. And tell us about the remodel. I mean, y'all are, we've had a great time talking mm -hmm. to your dad, but we've noticed, Taylor and I, as we have talked to the next generation coming back working with parents, right. they're bringing newer technology. I mean, oh, yeah. almost to everybody, when, yeah. no matter where they are, you know, they come in and they say, we need this, we yeah. need that, we need... Invisalign, did you bring that with you or was it uh, here before? You know, it, it was here before. I think I probably do a lot more of it than my dad does. Um, and you would tell what that is in case. In, yeah, that. so Invisalign is a way, it's it's another method of straightening teeth. I mean, mm -hmm. braces is obviously the one everybody knows. And then Invisalign is essentially kind of clear aligners. A lot of people say they look like retainers. Yeah. And you kind of step through a series of them and they incrementally kind of get things where they need to be. And it is it is the future. I mean, I you know, we were joking, I have three kids of my own and if one of them's lucky enough to maybe come join me one day I think that a lot of orthodontic treatments going to be taking place with Invisalign maybe not so much with braces yeah I think everybody should have braces once in their life right yeah. right you got to go through it yeah but you know, it's, it's amazing what the technology has been able to do for the you know the, yeah. the dentistry and oral surgeons yeah. and, and that sort of thing and yeah. to see somebody have a Invisalign in you can't you can barely even see it so you it's, really it's, can. Pretty, it's pretty man you really can and it, it's uh, it's an efficient way of doing it too, because each you know it's customized to, to every individual who gets it. It's mm -hmm. it's their mouth, and and um, you know sometimes treatment times can run a little bit faster with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where did you attend undergrad, and then when did you really decide? You know, your, your father told us, but when did you decide that I want to be an orthodontist myself? Right. So I think if you went back to my high school yearbook and it said, "What are you going to be when you grow up?" I think it would say orthodontist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I did. I was at an all boys school for high school, and I kind of I kind of learned to play the guitar up there. So when I got to the University of North Carolina, mm -hmm. uh, much to my dad's chagrin, because I didn't go to Duke. <laughs> uh, when I got to the University of North Carolina, I I you know college. It, it, I branched out, started getting interested in other things, and so I, I wasn't as you know bent on being an orthodontist mm -hmm. while I was there. But I majored in biology, uh, minored in chemistry, and wow. had a yeah, and, and had That's a strong and had a strong hunch that you know eventually I'm going to go back to dental school. But I was kind of playing my guitar, um, traveling around in a band, and, mm -hmm. and having a good time. And then once I graduated and got out into the real world, I realized, okay, you know, here we go. It's yeah. time for me to figure this thing out, and you know. My whole life, people have been running up to my dad, showing him their teeth, and, <laughs> and, and, and how happy they are to uh -huh. do it, and how good it makes them feel. And I, you know, I, I knew that, yep, that's what I want to be a part of. And so, yep, went back to dental school, made it happen, was fortunate enough to be accepted residency at Chapel Hill, 2010. Here I am, and here we are now. And your wife now. is a dentist. My wife is a dentist. She's a pediatric dentist. Uh -huh. So we were very fortunate. Um, to both go to the University of North Carolina for our dental school mm -hmm. and then after dental school you have to, to it's a match system as to what residency mm -hmm. program you're going to get in so 
here we were we got married right after dental school we get married and we were lucky enough to match at the same residency oh, program wow. so that we didn't have to do the back and forth for three years um, so yes she did her residency at the University of North Carolina as well and she practices here in town with Frank Courts. so it was three years of residency three more years yes ma'am so four years of dental school three more years of just braces for me Ooh. I don't think many people realize that. I, yeah. I had no idea. There so. are there are a couple two year residencies mm -hmm. around. Um, I kind of wanted to stay local for one thing, but another thing is you know orthodontic treatment takes time, you mm -hmm. know, and and it can take two years. So when I was considering a two year program, I was thinking, well, how many of those patients are or I'm going to start and finish? So I knew if I went somewhere that was three years, mm -hmm. I was going to start and finish yeah. a lot of patients. Mm -hmm. Plus, learn from some of the best of the best. I mean, University yeah. of North Carolina has probably the most famous orthodontist in the world. His name's Dr. William Prophet, who, who literally wrote the book. And I, I did my research project with him, and he let me hang around him for, you know, five or six years while I was in dental school and residency. Yeah. So I was, I was very lucky. But, yeah, three years. Lots of new computers. Computer stations. Computer stations. Um, so y'all invested quite a bit. Yeah, we have. we have. We have. We, you know, we... We came in and we had um, a company kind of gut it down to, to know we were lucky enough that the office is big enough we can work on one side and kind of redo the other side so we didn't have to shut down. Um, but we've gotten the office renovated and now we are moving to cloud computing which mm -hmm. we have an office in Roanoke Rapids. Yeah. And we have been using a communication between the two offices that takes a long time. So whenever we're taking pictures or uploading x-rays, the girls are looking at me like, yeah, you know, what's going on? <laughs> uh, and so we needed a solution. And um, we have moved to now, instead of having to send everything back to the server here, we just shoot it right up into the cloud, which Daddy's always like, oh, what's the cloud anyway? Yeah. <laughs> um, but but it's, we're hoping that it's going to make us a little more efficient. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. Well, Take the renovations look absolutely amazing. And you. and you don't know how big this place is until you walk through it. Well, and it's kind of a maze. And, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't want to move to a new building is because I'm, you know, I kind of stay close to my roots, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, here I am. I moved back here to be close to my mama. Yeah. I'm working with my daddy. And this is the office he always worked in. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. when he came here, it was just the front half. Yeah. And then when he came, they built on this whole oh. kind of backside, mm -hmm. which is why it seems a little kind of like Chop a maze. Is your, yeah. Exactly. But, you know, it's my choppy, and it's our choppy, and it's what I'm used to, and I love it. And, and you know where everything is. That's all that. I, I know where it all is. That's exactly the right time. Yeah. Well, and, and you've got such longevity of staff, too. I do. I mean, I probably guess a lot of them you knew because you've grown up knowing them. I, I mean, a lot of them are staples of my life. There's no mm -hmm. doubt. You know, I mean, this... Got lots of mamas around here, maybe? Lots of mother hens. I mean, <laughs> I, yes. And they, you know, I learned just as much from them as, as they do from me. This this train was been heading down the tracks, and mm -hmm. I just kind of grabbed the wheel, and Daddy kind of slid over, and, and it's my turn to yeah. kind of do it. But, you know, the staff... I can't say enough nice things about it. Well, and speaking of the staff, we're going yeah. to take a break, and we come back. You're going to introduce them in two groups. Tell us okay. what the two groups are. Yeah, so uh, you'll meet my clinical staff, who are the girls that kind of help us get the teeth straight. Mm -hmm. And then you'll meet our front office staff, who are the ones that kind of make you feel comfortable right when you come in and help you get through the finances of braces and all that stuff. Okay, we'll be right back. Right. Around Town is brought to you by Eastern North Carolina Medical Group. Good health is music to our ears. With office locations at 1041 Noel Lane, Suite 105 in Rocky Mount, 10589 East NC Highway 97 in Joiner's Crossing Shopping Center in Rocky Mount, 155 Nashville Commons Drive in the Food Line Shopping Center Plaza in Nashville, North Carolina, 1812 Glendale Avenue, Suite B in Wilson, North Carolina, 903 North Arundel Drive in Zebulon, North Carolina, as well as the ENCMG Lewisburg Oncology Clinic at 216 North Beckett Boulevard, Suite 5 in Lewisburg, North Carolina. Log on to ENCMG.com today to locate the office nearest you. I think everybody watching would really, really like to, to know the names and how long these right. employees have been here, these ladies, because Really, they're often the face of the practice more than you and your dad, right? Big time, big time, and this is a special crew right here. So I'd love for y'all to meet them. 
and all seven of them work in, in this room in the back. They are. They are. Right? These are all my clinical assistants, you see. And what does that mean? So my dad and I will come up to a chair and look in the patient's mouth, kind of figure out what we need to do, and, and these girls make it happen. Just Wonderful. Awesome. So yeah. they make you look good. Right? They make you look <laughs> good constantly. We like constantly. it. Okay, well let's start down here. If you'll say your full name and how long you've worked here, please. All right, I'm Christina Carpenter and I've been here a year. I'm Courtney Poland and I've been here for two years. I'm Cindy Ashcraft and I've been here 34 years. <laughs> wow. Hey, girl. I'm Elizabeth Morris and I've been here two years. I'm Amber Balcom and I've been here two years. I'm Janelle Ordes and I've been here eight years. And I'm Nikki Jean and I've been here 24 years. Wow. Right, right. So yeah, you know, we have a few that are kind of, you know, working their way into this, but we have hired very well and we anticipate they're going to be here a long time as well. Well, and I bet y'all, you can say a communal yes, but don't you love having that, that you know, that's going to go on and on that, that Dr. Mm -hmm. Miller was here and now <laughs> and I got another one. Here, so. <laughs> and I bet the, the reaction of the patients, aren't they just, this is fun for them having both generations. And do, I guess, some of you might have seen three generations from the same family as patients. Have you oh, yeah. seen that? Oh, yeah. This one right here, I used to pick him up when he was four years old. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's known me a long, long time. You didn't drop time. him, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> she might have dropped him. That might explain a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, ladies. Yeah. Ken, um, I was speaking earlier to, to Jean, it looks like you guys have a lot of fun here. Uh, is that true? We do. We do. You know, I guess if we're in the business of creating smiles, we may as well be smiling while we're doing it. So I've got, I've got a great group of women, there's no doubt about it. And they, they keep it lighthearted, which uh, in turn makes for a good atmosphere. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. Well, who are these uh, four lovely ladies with us? Okay, y'all want to introduce or you want me to introduce? Kim, go ahead. My name's Kim Colley, and May will be 20 years I've been with practice. 20 years. Kim was an old patient that my father hired 20 years ago. So she wore braces. She wore braces, she was, and she was so a such a good people person, we stuck her up front. So <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Betty jo. And I'm Betty Jo Taylor, and I've been here for 30 years coming this fall. 30 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. And D. I'm Dee Landis, and I've been here 26 years. Hi, I'm Lou Ann Godfrey. I'm the treatment coordinator, and I've been here 30 years this year. Wow. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Definitely some longevity here. Yes. That's <laughs> yes. That's both well for your dad. Uh, it does. Because it he had seasoned does. employees here when you he got here. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You know, both my kids were your patients, oh, and, and I have been a patient too, and I can tell you, it, this is a fun place to come. Oh, thank you. We thank appreciate you. that. I mean, you do everything to make it, it very pleasant. If you're going to have your teeth, you know, laced up or pulled on or whatnot, y'all are just as kind. You do a little smile. You do a little smile. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hi, folks. We're back here at Miller Orthodontics, Small Business of the Month winner for March, and we're here with Dr. Ken. Um, we just met your staff. Yes. You have a lovely staff. Thank I'm you. sure some of them are here to keep you in line, as uh, always. They do. They do. And I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful. Um, as you should be. Well, uh, let's talk a little about your community involvement. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things that you guys participate in? We talked about you guys donating um, a dental package uh, uh, earlier. What are some uh, other things that you guys do or you know, would like to possibly get involved yeah. with? Um, so, yeah, you know, we, we, we want to be a fountain, not a drain. Mm -hmm. And so we do try to give back things that we can. Um, I'd say mostly what we do is we support our patients and kind of all the endeavors they got going mm -hmm. on. So obviously, you know, with orthodontics, we see a lot of kids. Yeah. So we support a lot of baseball teams and basketball teams and School AAU yearbooks, yeah. Yeah, yearbooks um, Distinguished Young Women of the Year, 4-H mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. clubs, you know, pretty much whatever mm -hmm. they ask, autism. we feel good to do. Y'all help with autism. We do. We, we generate. We will donate to the National Autism Society, um, which is a big part by one of my front desk girls who y'all just met, Kim Colley, who plays a big part of that. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we, we're, we're always happy to, to be a part of that as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we certainly have enjoyed uh, getting to know you guys uh, here today. Um, is there anything else you would like to share with the, the people at home about, you know, how they can get in touch with you, what's the phone number, you know, uh, use this time? To oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, um, you know, if you want to change your smile, you can call us anytime. We're 252-443-6616. And um, what's coming young? What I mean, what are the ages? Yeah, so the American Association of Orthodontists recommends that a, a, a child come to see us around seven. Mm -hmm. 
And the reasoning behind that is because we can make a little bit of a skeletal difference at that age if we need to, or if some permanent teeth aren't heading in the right direction, maybe we can kind of intercept and get in there and avoid some problems that might be um, coming along. Um, so seven years old is a good place to start. Um, but you know, we I'd say the average girls are getting braces around 10, 11, and boys, you know, 11, 12, and then adults of all ages, you're never, you're never too old to come in and, and change your smile because sometimes it changes your life as well. You know? yeah. And I've seen people who don't even smile because they're right. so self-conscious. Yeah. And, and to know that you can make that okay again. And, the, and I, the, certainly one of the most rewarding parts of our job is seeing the confidence mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, we start with the kids kind of slump shoulders coming in mm -hmm. talking quiet and they leave and it's just a whole new you know watch some of that is they've grown up yeah. you know the time <laughs> of life that they come to see us but a lot of that is too is they, they feel better about themselves yeah. mm -hmm. so imagine being able to see that start to finish patient like you said right. it's just self gratifying a and a absolutely and I do it every day yeah what a great job well that's awesome well yeah. it seems like you do a great job you, you have a great facility Thank I think you. you have a great follower that you are following in the footsteps of and um, we can keep, keep him here for a long time. I, I told him I'd wheel him around. I got, yeah. I got you, Dad. Don't you worry. Yeah. Um, but uh, congratulations again on being Small Business of the Month a winner in March. And for those of you out there watching, uh, they will have a chance to win Small Business of the Year now that will be uh, given away at, in June at our Small Business Banquet at Rose Hill. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. congratulations. So, so glad you're here. here. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. Around Town is brought to you by Eastern North Carolina Medical Group. Good health is music to our ears. With office locations at 1041 Noel Lane, Suite 105 in Rocky Mount, 10589 East NC Highway 97 in Joiner's Crossing Shopping Center in Rocky Mount, 155 Nashville Commons Drive in the Food Line Shopping Center Plaza in Nashville, North Carolina, 1812 Glendale Avenue, Suite B in Wilson, North Carolina, 903 North Arundel Drive in Zebulon, North Carolina, as well as the ENCMG Lewisburg Oncology Clinic at 216 North Beckett Boulevard, Suite 5 in Lewisburg, North Carolina. Log on to ENCMG.com today to locate the office nearest you.